Hello and welcome to the third module of Intermediate Macroeconomics. I'm Sergio Campodias and I'm the instructor for this course. In this module, we're going to be talking about search and unemployment. And most of the material is going to be based on Williamson's Macroeconomics, Chapter 6. Now, the key here is to think about labor market frictions. Turns out employment is one of the most important macro aggregates. We've seen in all the models we've, we've revised that it is required for production and it is a major part of consumers' income. However, all models so far have full employment. That is, if prices can adjust, everybody gets a job. We actually have only considered representative agent models. So not only everybody has a job, but all the agents in the economy are the same. And that is clearly not true. We do observe unemployment. We do observe people who want to work and they cannot. And we do observe differences across people in whether or not they can get a job. And so what we want to do now is to change the type of framework we use, to change the type of model to be able to talk about this. So in reality, labor markets have frictions. These frictions are going to be what's behind the reason that people need to search. So why can't you just find a job right away? Why do you need to search? The same thing happens to firms. Firms need to search for employees. And so we're going to have a model where these search frictions are going to be at the center of it, preventing all the firms to hire and all the workers to find a job. Okay, the objective of this model is going to be to capture unemployment. And in particular, to talk about unemployment as a characteristic feature of recessions. So in some of the comparative statics we're going to have, we're going to see how different shocks to the economy can create higher unemployment. And that's going to be part of what macro is going to study. So what's the outline? The first thing is going to be a set of videos on labor market definitions and certain trends on labor market participation that have been occurring during the last decades. Then we're going to actually delve into the model. We're going to be doing, sorry, we're going to be going over the Diamond Mortens and Pizarides search model. This is the canonical and basic form of search model that we use for macro in search and labor markets. And it is pioneered by Peter Diamond, Dale Mortensen, and Christopher Pisarides. Uh, they three got the uh, Nobel Prize in economics precisely for developing this type of model. We're going to break up the study of the model as we've done before into an overview of the economy. We're going to then say how consumers, how these workers are going to search for a job. We're going to talk about firms. We're going to talk about where wages are coming from, which in this case is going to come from bargaining. Then we're going to define the equilibrium and find it. And finally, we're going to use the model to do a bunch of comparative statics exercises that are going to let us study how different types of shocks affect unemployment, labor force participation, wages, amongst others. So in the next set of videos, we're going to start with some labor market definitions and long-term threats of the labor market. See you then.